Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do empties number five. I've been really working through my stash of stuff because I've gotten so much new stuff recently that I have a whole bin of just half-used products and stuff that I really just wanted to get rid of and not get rid of but work through. Um, pardon my hair right now. Um, I'm actually on my way to get my hair cut because it's super long now. I'm trying to do a new hairstyle, and it's just, I don't know, I really want it to grow out. So for the past week and a half, I've been using the Wen Tea Tree Eucalyptus um, oils in my scalp the night, every night before I go to bed to really stimulate my scalp and help for my hair growth. I love my Wen hair. I absolutely love it. I think it's the best hair I've ever had and um, I'm just using that and it's really helping my hair grow so going to get it cut tonight but anyway here is my big bin of empties so I'm going to start off with the True Blue Spa Shea Butter Fresh Foaming Body Buff now I am beyond ecstatic to finish this up this is a 16 ounce bottle and I hate this scrub. I would never use this as a whole body scrub because when you rinse it off it leaves this like film on your skin and it really is irritating to me. I can't stand it. So I was super duper happy to finish this up. I use this on my hands when I finish going to painting classes and stuff because this really is great to get all the excess paint off of my hands and if I just want a good hand scrub and then I use a regular hand soap just to get that film off because I hate it. I finished the Cashmere Glow um, Luxury Bubble Bath from Bath & Body Works. Now this stuff stinks. I've hated this fragrance forever. I think this came in a kit of mine. Uh, in a, not a kit, in a, um, what's it called? A, in a basket from, um, some basket, like Black Friday or something. Ugh, it just stinks. So I literally, like, poured in half the bottle in my bubble bath just to use it up because I hate the smell so much. I finished a Mango Temptation, um, shower gel from Victoria's Secret, and this was just okay, too. It was just a very boring mango scent. It's... Nothing too great. It was more floral. I finished up my giant 8-ounce Hope in a Jar from Philosophy. I love this stuff. This is one of my favorite daytime facial moisturizers. And um, they're actually having a Today Special Value on July 11th for um, the 8-ounce Hope in a Jar and the 32-ounce Hope in a Jar for body for 117 That's the price of this moisturizer. So you're basically getting that big Hope in a Jar for body that's $72 value for free. So definitely check that out if you're interested. I'm going to be purchasing that because it's stupid to purchase this when I can get that for free. I finished the Snow Fairy Shower Gel from Lush. I love this shower gel. I love this fragrance. I just wish that somebody else would make this in a fragrance because I'm not the biggest fan of Lush like I used to be. It's just you have to use the products up quickly because they'll go bad. You'll have to. They're just so, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan. And this glitter was everywhere. I had to rinse out my tub every single time I used it. That was not the best. I finished a Cranberry Joy Body Butter from the Body Shop. I may mentioned in my last video that I finished the um, shower gel and the, what's it called, and the, um, just the shower gel. So now I finished up the lo uh, body butter. Mm, it smells super, super good. Uh, for some reason, I feel like this was in my previous empty video. I feel like I talked about this already. Maybe I didn't throw it away or recycle it. Uh, I finished... A Sensual Amber Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. This is the only body lotion that actually half moisturized my skin. Did I For some reason, I feel like I talked about these already. If I did, please let me know. I might have to watch my video again. But this was just boring. I finished... Oh, it's down. I finished the three-step 
Acne Solutions um, 3 Sap Cleansing System from Clinique. Um, this stuff I would never repurchase. I can't stand it. I use this acne thing because I had a lot of breakouts recently, and I use this whole thing at once. Not at once, but in a row. I didn't change up anything in my skincare routine, and this was so drying. This is the foam, and this was okay. I would, if I had to repurchase one item, it would be the cleansing foam because it just it was a cleanser, nothing too special. This clarifying lotion, basically a toner, was so freaking strong I'm of alcohol it has to have like a uh, 90% alcohol in it because it just killed my skin it killed my skin and my eyes watered when I used it and everything and then this drying moisturizer this is a clearing moisturizer and let me tell you it was the most drying thing in the world I had to use um, extra thick I used Josie Marin argon oil um, I got intensifying creamy oil on top of it because it was so drying. I hated it. I finished up the Mango Body Butter from the Body Shop. I have two more of this size and one more of the super size one. I finished this up. I love the Mango Body Butter. I also finished this old Mango Body Scrub that I got from TJ Maxx like a year ago. And this like expired. It... It was just so clumpy, not like the normal Mango Body Scrub, so it had to have expired. It doesn't have an expiration date, but it says 12 months after opening, and I definitely had this longer than 12 months. I finished a 32-ounce Baby Grace Olive Oil Body Scrub from Philosophy. I love the Olive Oil Body Scrubs. It just, it's a daily cleanser as well. Like, I just pump this onto my loofah, and it foams up so nicely and it still gives you that great scrub and the amazing scent of baby grace it's not baby powder it's like a newborn baby it smells awesome i finished the neroli and orchid um fragranced soap it was a it was a bar of soap from loxiton i use this whenever i was taking a bath um and this is not drying i hate bar soap but this i believe it was sean Killinger on QVC who said that um, this is an artisanal cleansing bar and I totally agree it is so moisturizing whenever you rinse it off it's crazy nothing ever like a bar soap it's awesome I finished the vanilla and bergamot soapy suds body wash and bubbling bath from bliss I was super sad not really, to see this go. I did not like this scent either. I liked it up to here. This all was basically just me hating the scent because at first I was like, ooh, this smells really good, and then it just started to be boring. It wasn't special at all. I was happy, and it pumped out such a little amount. When you pump, it pumped like this much, so I literally had to do like 20 pumps every time, and it still lasted me forever. I finished up a Peach Bellini Deep Cleansing Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. Again, nothing special. Just one of their hand soaps. I finished the most greasy hand lotion and body lotion in the world from Lush. This is the Celebrate Hand & Body Lotion. I literally could put even like the tiniest bit of this on my arm. And it was greasy for like an hour. It stayed so greasy on my skin. I know the Body Shop Body Butters are a little greasy, but they absorb within 10 minutes. This, no, this was Grease Festival. It was horrible, 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 horrible. Just another bad Lush product. I finished a van vanilla warm. Warm vanilla sugar Shea and Rich shower gel from Bath & Body Works. This was okay. It was nothing special. Got out of the shower, put on... Uh, Loxiton lotion to make it better. Oh, I finished an Island White Pineapple Deep Cleansing Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. I really love this scent. It's just a great um, pineapple scent. It's really, really juicy. I finished a Praline Crunch 6-ounce Shampoo Shower Gel and Bubble Bath from Philosophy. This was a very, very, very bakery scent. I don't know if I'd repurchase it. I finished a Coconut Passion 
body wash from Victoria's Secret. Now, you're probably thinking, how does he finish these shower gels from top to bottom this quickly? This literally had this much in it whenever I um, picked it out of my bin to use it because I'm sick of, like, leaving all these on my shelf with only, like, this much. And my shelf's very organized. I'll have to make a video of it, but it changes so frequently. But it's, like, this much. And so I used it up really quickly. I finished... Oh, shedding a tear for this one, literally, because it's my favorite scent in the whole entire world. It's my fresh cream from Philosophy, and this is the body lotion. This is 7 ounces. Don't worry, I have three 32 ounces with a pump, three shower gels, 32 ounces, a 64-ounce shower gel, five more of the fresh cream body lotion with SPF, eight body lotions, eight body scrubs in these tubes left. And a bunch of spray fragrances, like six or seven of the two ounce spray fragrances. So I'm hooked on fresh cream for a while. And literally every time, wow, this has been sitting in like this forever. And I was waiting to do the video to get the last amount. So, well, that's about all that you can get. But this fresh cream literally smells so good. It's not overly bakery at all. It's more less a clean bakery scent. It's really weird. Like, it's not sickeningly sweet. It's not going. It's just really, really, really soft and amazing. I put this on all the time. If I only had to pick probably one fragrance from each company to use, from Philosophy, it would be Fresh Cream. From L'Occitane, that would be hard. It would probably either be the um, Shea Butter, because I just love that scent, or the Cherie Rouge, which is the Cherry Intense scent, because that's just to die for. From the Body Shop, it would definitely be Mango, and um, Bath and Body Works, nothing really, nothing too special about that. Um, Josie Marin Vanilla Apricot, I'd have to make a video of that, but this smells so good, and it literally moisturizes your skin all day. I love it. And then for candles, I finished a Honeysuckle Bouquet mason jar, a Pink Lemonade Pound Cake. Those two weren't very strong. Mango Dragon Fruit, this I had to burn for like 20 hours at a time because the wicks were super bad. Pink Passion Fruit. Raspberry Peach Macaron, the wax turned like a nasty brown color. Coconut leaves and an old fall scent leaves. And look at this. It literally stops right here. Like, probably right here. It stopped burning. And that's it. It was the bottom of the candle. I was very upset about that. And they put those two little knobs in there, so I can't even put another candle in there. Oh well, those were my empties videos. My favorite, probably out of the whole entire video. Fresh cream, I love it. I'll never, ever, 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 ever be without it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget about Haley's Heavenly Scents. If you order through July 30th, you can get a free lip balm if you use the code DREW. Talk to you later. Bye!